Right, welcome to another episode of Warhammer 40,000. It's 2,000 points. Eldar versus Ultramarines. Uh, James will take his Ultramarine list, uh, new codex, new supplement, and they will take on the Eldar as they attempt uh, to rack up some victories to push them on to the channel crown. Okay, so 2,000 points, Eldar versus Ultramarines, always one of our favourites uh, here to play. James uh, ends up hating this combination once the game's finished, usually, but we'll see. <laughs> he hates the Eldar. Yeah, that's one of the top three, isn't it? Tau, Eldar, and... Yeah, there's a, there's a, there can be a... I hate them all. Hate them all, yeah. okay. All right, so we'll, just, we'll get on with it here. <laughs> All right, so welcome to this 2,000 points game, Eldar versus Ultramarines. So this is the Eldar list, the controversial list that's performed well so far. Uh, it's the Eldar in with a chance to try and retain or to gain the channel crown this season, uh, if they can. Bit of resurgence from them this season. So hopefully they'll do well against the Ultramarines in this game. They need to continue to get the victories in order to stand a chance uh, of taking the crown this season. The problem is Ultramarines have a new codex and supplement so it'll be interesting to see how well the Eldar cope against James's revamped list of new rules and stratagems and so on. It's battle forged here for the Eldar uh, so three command points is a battalion and a supreme command detachment as well so nine command points in total haven't spent an extra point on an extra relic so we'll keep the nine command points for this force. So, Super Heavy Auxiliary Detachment, uh, it's a Latok here, it's a Wraith Knight with the Heavy Wraith Cannons uh, for him. Uh, then a Supreme Command Detachment, it's all the way as the uh, Craft World, here's the Sixes to Ignore Wounds coming through. It is uh, Eldrad, two Warlocks and a Spirit Seer as well. Eldrad's taken Doom, Fortune and Guide. Uh, this warlock here with the sword swung, swung back is taken quick and restrain. This one with the sword and sort of a defensive posture is taken protect and jinx. And then uh, the spirit seer here with the spear uh, is taken conceal, reveal uh, as his power. So that's all the powers available there just to cover that now. Uh, then finally the battalion deta detachment. So HQ choices is uh, this altark here. It's taken from the index, banshee mask. Power Sword, Reaper Launcher for this one. I've made it the Warlord this time just to try it out. So we'll gain Path of Command. When Command Points are used on a 6, we will uh, keep a Command Point. Uh, and that's capped at 1 per battle round, is it? Or per, ter per turn? Per battle round, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's limited to that. But might be able to gain a couple of these 9 Command Points back. Uh, that's the first HQ. Then an Altark on a Jet Bike with Laser Lance uh, for him. Uh, Banshee Mask as well and then Twin Shuriken Catapults yes and there's a Relic as well Shimmer Plume, minus one to all the hit rolls for shooting and close combat as well and then there is a third HQ choice it's the Avatar of Kane, it's the Forge World version here twice the height of the older version that Games Workshop would produce very happy to have this model in the army and a points reduction as well 220 points after chapter approved 2018 then for troops, need three of the battalion. One, two, three units of rangers. This whole battalion is a Latox, so minus one to hit rolls over 12 inches away. Uh, then a unit of Dark Reapers here, all with Reaper launchers, five of those. Then the auto include in the list, ten striking scorpions of Ariel Doomhand, the Exarch, just here, uh, with the scorpion's claw, all with scorpion chainswords, uh, and... Shuriken Pistols, Mandy Blasters as well. And then finally, the Nine, as they've become known. Nine Shining Spears, the unit's been expanded in size, all with Twin Shuriken Catapults and Laser Lances for them, and a Star Lance there for uh, the Exarch in the squad. That's the Eldar list. It's small, elite, plenty of HQ choices, but they've gained or achieved some good results so far. But a fresh test them here against the Ultramarines. We'll take a look and see what James has in his list. Just to mention the patrons at Gold Level, Marcus Anthony, Paul Cook, and Coldress123. Thanks for their support at Gold Level. Uh, check out the end credits for those supporting at Silver Level. I've set up a Patreon page for our club, SSWG, and all of the proceeds go uh, directly to the club. And uh, as a reward, those at Silver Level 
the names go in the end credits and a shout out for those supporting at gold level as well uh, yeah warlord here sorry the warlord trait this one mark of the incomparable hunter so he'll be able to fire at characters even though they're not the closest enemy units so it's a character hunter here just to add a bit more tactical flexibility okay so we'll take a look now and see what james has in his list All right, so 2,000 points of Ultramarines. James uh, here with a fresh list. Played the Orcs previously. He's changed the list around. And more Primaris in the list here. I can see Hellblasters are back. And a load of other Primaris. And what's this unit here? They are the Infiltrators. The infiltrators being used. Nice little upgrades as well. Okay, cool. All right, we'll let James run for his list. Right, this is my 2,000 points of the Sons of Gilliman. Um, so the Warlord today is Captain Akaran, and his Warlord trait is Adept to the Codex, so 5 pluses he regains command points after he spends them, and he also has the Relic the Sanctic Halo, which is a 3 plus in Vun save and can deny a Psychic Power. And then we have for the troops choice, we have two intercessor squads, all equipped with bolt rifles, and they are full 10 man squads. Mm -hmm. and they have two auxiliary grenade launchers in each, so that's one, two. Then we have the um, infiltrator squad, and they're equipped with the marks from bolt carbines. One of them's equipped with the helix adept and the uh, comms array. Now the comms array is I don't have to be in the ability of the captain to reroll ones. That's right, yes. Which is quite handy. That's very cool. So it's a cool upgrade to have. And yeah, I like them. I think, they're, I think they're nice models as well, and they've done the new plastics as well, so I'm going to have to get them. Plus the Incursor squads as well. Mm -hmm. That would be cool. And then we've got the Chaplain, equipped with the Crozis Arcanum and a Plasma Pistol. And then we have an Apothecary. And then you may snipe our characters. I'll snipe him first with Sergeant Tellian. Mm -hmm. So he's got an improved Stalker Bolt Gun. And then we have the Primaris Ancient, equipped with a bolt rifle. And then we have the Hellblasters, they are back. Um, so with the rapid fire, they're AP minus five. Oh yes, <laughs> chapter tactics, ouch. <laughs> AP minus five. And then we have um, Devastator Squad, equipped with the Grav, uh, Cannon Grav Amplifiers. And then we have a drop pod with them coming in as well. And then we have uh, Sergeant Kronos leading the Spearhead Detachment, equipped with the Predator Auto Cannon and Hunter Killer Missile. And then we have two other Predators equipped with Las Cannons and the Predator Auto Cannon, Storm Bolter, and Hunter Killer Missile. Wow. So it's Sorry, all... so you got HQ, two heavies, third heavy here? Yep, yeah, it's part of Spearhead. Got it. Yeah, you That's can do great. that. Yeah. Okay. And that works out about 1998 points and it is courage and honor we march for mccrag all right so that's james's list here complete with the usual battle chant here i have to say it looks pretty solid here big units of 10 uh, primaris units here hell blasters and supported now by a devastator squad in a drop pod and the triple predator as well I think the Eldar have got a tough task ahead of them here, but we'll go on to scenario and deployment next for this fight. Yeah. Okay, so we have a scenario here. It's been randomly determined. We've gone to chapter approved 2018, mission number three uh, for Eternal War. It's cut off the head is the name of the scenario. And then frontline assault for deployment. James, uh, when they're all off, is chosen to go at that end, uh, across there. And then the Eldar will be deploying here. It's like a shallow wedge. Uh, heading off in this direction. Uh, central objective, just marked here by this guardsman, uh, or dead guardsman sitting on top of a bomb. That's marking the centre of the table, the one objective that's on the board. Uh, slay the wall of first strike and line breaker available in this mission. So we have to allocate intel points to three of our HQs. Both sides can do that. And then points being picked up here. First of all is crucial intel at the end of the third battle round. At the end of each battle round thereafter, each player adds up the number of intel points allocated to models from their army that are currently on the battlefield or that are currently embarked within a transport. 
That is the number of victory points the player scores. So we've got to keep those three characters with the intel points alive, and then they'll start to pick up points turn three onwards. And then also transmit intel uh, from turn two onwards, uh, one victory point for uh, controlling the central objective as well. Uh, so you've got to have more characters that have the intel points in three inches. So the big aim here is to get those three characters to the center of the battlefield, control the objective, uh, and then also keep those three characters alive as well. So quite straightforward here. Aggression will need to be shown by both sides. Uh, Eldar perhaps swooping in for close combat and shooting. Ultramarines clearing the Eldar resistance out of the way and then moving on to the objective. That's perhaps what may happen, but uh, 40k can be a very random game for sure. We'll go on to deployment now. We'll start uh, placing armies on the table. One army is going to deploy first and then the other. All right, just to mention the battle mat that we're using in this game, it's by GameMat.eu, uh, 6 by 4 in size. They do a whole variety of battle mats now, but we just roll this one out nice and flat, place our terrain on top, and then use scrub stones and bushes just to blend the whole thing in. And uh, happy enough with the result here. Uh, they also produce terrain sets. So using one of those sets here in this battle here, just mixing up with some Games Workshop terrain, but it's their chem zone industrial terrain set here. Uh, we've stacked this up to make a large column. All these yellow bits here, these containers are all part of that set as well. So you can check out gamemat.eu for your supplies of battle mats and also terrain sets available from them also. All right, so deployment complete here. Uh, so Eldar deployed their force first. I uh, just cover reserves actually. I uh, paid an extra command point to put the Dark Reapers into reserve and then these will appear unbidden. Turn two onwards, usual rules for deep strike. That's uh, been clarified uh, for the Rangers. Now, so on this right hand flank, we have placed uh, the Shining Spears and the Wraith Knight on the extreme right hand side. It's quite empty across the other side. Uh, then in the center of the table, We've got to focus on the central objective. I know that James has nasty firepower. We're just going to have to uh, bear the firepower as best as we can. Ten striking scorpions inside this bunker here. Eldrad, uh, the Altark with the Reaper launcher, the double warlock, uh, the spirit seer, and also the bone singer is there as well. Avatar just tucked in behind, and then so too is the Altark on the jet bike as well. So uh, intel points allocated, one to this Altark on the bike, Eldred has one, and also the Altark with the Reaper launcher also. So it's those three that are carrying the intel points. In reaction to the Eldar deployment, and try to keep away from the deadly Shining Spears and the firepower of the Wraith Knight, James has set up in this extreme corner just over here. So all three of the Predators, Tech Marines there, Lieutenant, Captain Akaran, the Banner, uh, the Apocryphary, Chaplin, Talion, combat squads here for the two units of Hellblasters. Uh, this intercessor squad is a full 10 man squad. I think James wants to make use of stratagems for them. This intercessor squad, full 10 man squad as well. And then the infiltrators are tucked across the other side of the table. Strange deployment here in this game. Uh, units spread about all across the table, but uh, one unit here and one unit tucked. Just in there, hidden away. Yes, they're allowed to go over the, the line of the deployment zone, that's fine, yeah. And then here, uh, this I think is going to be very useful, the drop pod with the Devastator squad. Uh, their weaponry may well be particularly effective against the higher armour save of some of the Eldar units. That's deployment done. Here, Eldar will choose to go first. James can elect to seize uh, the initiative. So I think that's the next stage here. Uh, before the game begins. And for the foe boss arm, I can't have yes, that. the comms link. James didn't take the comms link up link because it needs to be a captain in foe boss armor yeah. uh, that grants that bonus. Right. So instead, you've gone for a combi grav on the devastated sergeant. Fine, all right, so we're all sorted out now. So I'm going to go first. That's what I'm choosing to do. You can an attempt, make an attempt to seize initiative if you so wish. Nope. He's awesome. rolled his special dice, he's rolled a three. Okay, now, for our first trick of the day, uh, the Eldar will make use of a stratagem. It's two command points. Phantasm. We're going to redeploy a couple of crucial units here. All right, so redeployment done. It's a trick here. It's a trap. The Eldar have sprung. Phantasm stratagem has been used. We deliberately deployed in this corner, hoping that James would okay, take the bait and deploy in that corner, which he has. So we've now shifted uh, the 
shining spears, the avatar, just to gain him a few more inches uh, closer towards the enemy lines, and also the Wraith Knight shifting over to this flank as well. We know we're going first, so we're going to try and take advantage of that and deploy aggressively with these units. Expect it all to kick off here on turn one, if it goes according to plan. It's a bit of an intricate plan the Eldar have here, so it could fall apart, or it could be glorious. We'll see what happens. We'll go on to turn one now, but the Eldar will make the first moves. So, uh, movement done here for the Eldar. A little bit of rearranging just in here, just to make sure that these are in range of their target units for psychic powers. But we're going to stay where we are for now. There's no point moving out to this objective yet. There's no bonuses can be picked up. So we'll hold and make use of the cover and wait to see if James brings his Devastators down. Uh, we have sent the Bone Singer out. It's going to try and link up with the Wraith Knight. So he's gone out by himself. Uh, so, 16 inch move here uh, with the Shining Spears. The Autark has gone 22, an advanced move. Uh, they automatically go 6 inches uh, there, so just to catch up with the uh, attack that potentially could go ahead. Uh, Avatar, I've played Matchless Agility on him, so he's got a guaranteed 6 inch advance, so 13 inches in total. And the Wraith Knight's gone 12 as well, uh, potential later on to try and get stuck in close combat uh, to help with the Eldar attack. So it's a risky uh, maneuver here from the Eldar. If it goes well, it could be good here. It could uh, cause an early blow here against the Ultramarines. If it's messed up, then the Eldar uh, lose these units and we've reduced not much left on the board. So it's just the way this list operates. We'll go on to Psychic phase for the Eldar next. We've got some Psychic abilities, we hope we can cast as many as possible. Alright, so Psychic Phase complete here for the Eldar. Uh, it's quite an intricate plan here, and it's not gone according to plan entirely. We did get the extra move uh, there with Quicken being used, but uh, two of the powers have not gone off. Protect has not gone off, and Conceal has not gone off either. So there's no minus one, extra minus one to hit these in the shooting phase, and there's no bonus to their armor save and invun save as well so uh, a weaker than hoped squad of shining spears going in but we did get the extra moves they're able to close the ground here and line up potential charges difficult choices to make though because this banner here if we shoot at james infantry units are going to get to shoot back any models that die on a four plus uh eldrad doing a good job though Fortune and Guide has gone off here, so that will help with the firepower. And a little extra level of protection as well to try and protect the Wraith Knight. Uh, we did use Seer Council being used there to try and make sure uh, that the Quicken power, the extra move, uh, did go off, which it did. So down to six command points left now uh, for the Eldar. No, we're down to five, actually. 
So five left in total. This is a, a crucial point here in the game, right at the very start of the battle. We'll go on to shooting phase next. Hoping we do well with this Wraith Knight. So I'm going to fire at Kronos with the Wraith Knight. It's the natural target to go for. We have Guide, so threes to hit. Rerolling. Okay, we'll reroll this one. Oh, okay, it's not gone through. Twos to wound. With the Wraith Cannons at strength 16. I'm going to come on reroll that one. Just about goes through. Okay, AP minus four. Uh, so, James, you have played. Prepare, Prepare position. positions, actually, so you do get a chance. You'll be a happy boy if he rolls any sixes here. Oh, he's rolled a six. Oh, that's so crucial. Just going to be 2d6 damage here against Kronos. Oh, we almost got him. Okay, seven wounds taken. Pretty good for damage, but target not destroyed. Okay, just off camera, I've rolled a six. Uh, just running through, uh, rolling some sixes for path of command. Yeah, the Altarch's on the table. And he rolled a six there, so back up to five command points here uh, for path of command. So we're going to fire the Altarch. I'm uh, going to go for the three damage shot with the Reaper Launcher against Kronos. See so if we can pick off three wounds here. It'd be great if we can. Twos to hit, rerolling ones. We'll reroll the ones. We get the hit. Threes to wound at strength, eight. It does wound. Okay, it's minus two. James will take a four up save here, thanks to cover. So a 50 50 chance. I've got a Finn. He, he will block this. He's rolled a three. Are you going to come on reroll? Otherwise, you'll be knocked down to one wound. Left yeah. on Kronos. Okay, command reroll being used. James down to seven command points left. He still has plenty to spend. Ah, he's on five and kept Kronos in uh, a better shape. All right, well done. Okay, shooting phase. These two out of range uh, just here. So I'm thinking about what to do with these. I think I have to fire them. Don't want to fire at Hellblasters uh, because James can then activate them to shoot at me here. Oh boy, I could go after them. Yeah, I'm half tempted to. Any any way I can bring them down would be useful enough. Yeah, and I was figuring out how I'm going to split it here. So all the star all the laser lances from here and the star lance are going to go into this Hellblaster squad. I know James is going to get to fire back on a four plus, but we'll just have to take the damage here and and then all of the shuriken catapults from all of these are actually going to go into this predator try and chip off some wounds uh, then this one here at Shuriken Catapults uh, into here and star uh, laser lance as well and then two laser lances the ones at the back out of range of the hell blast is going to go into that squad just there that's the way we're going to play it uh, it's going to hurt both of us here this firepower <laughs> but uh, there's nothing we can do so that banner is causing uh, trouble here for this Eldar plan okay 32 shots this is Shuriken Catapults we'll do these first into the Predator uh, we get to reroll ones because we have positioned ourselves within six inches of the Altark. James just checking, checking the cheese, and it's all good. And just to generate an extra hit there, it's not too much of a bonus. So strength four, it'll be fives to wound. We're looking good here. That's a pretty good array of hits here. I'm happy enough, I think it's just above average. Uh, fives to wound, sixes will be good. Ouch, there's some sixes. And not many more. Okay, so... It's not going to destroy the tank, but we should chip off some wounds. So James has, uh, with cover, he'll have two saves of 2+, plus, four saves of 5+, plus here. Okay. So two saves of 2+. plus. So then you're going to chip off a couple of wounds. They're fine. And then 5 pluses. Good rolling. Yeah, you save two. Two wounds taken. Yeah. Down to nine on this predator just here. Next, uh, three laser lances into these marines here. It will hit. Three is to kill them. Yes. I oh, know you're in cover. Six is to block. AP minus four. No. All right. Three dead. James will try and activate them here to shoot. So I'm going to go four. Let's choose models within range of the banner. So it's going to be the second rank in models from here yeah, onwards. From him. And here. Okay, four pluses to activate them now with the banner. Oh, None of them, they'll drop dead to the ground. Uh, Shuriken catapult from this guy at the back into that squad. Reroll this one for the all tuck. It's 
going okay for the Eldar so far. Uh, one wound comes through, normal save of 2 plus for being in cover. James just negotiating the crater here. 2 plus. Passed. All right, so now we're down to laser lances. I've declared five of them into this unit of Hellblasters and Star Lance as well. So we'll go for uh, Star Lance first of all. So that's a hit. Two's for a wound. Yes, a six up save to block this. No. Nope. No, okay. So uh, one Hell Blaster brought down, four plus to fire it. No, on a one, okay. Five laser lances next into that squad. I uh, reroll this one. No, just the two come through. And just the one wound. Save a six plus. No. Nope, and a four plus. Come on. Okay. See if any of these will shoot. No. Okay, another Hell Blaster gone down. Eldar happy enough. James a bit frustrated here uh, with this Eldar firepower. And I think that's all the firepower done. So we've cut a, a bit of a hole here in this Ultramarine line. I think the next stage is going to be Charges and Overwatch next. All right, so uh, charge moves taking place. We've charged in, only a three inch charge. It was a five year old, but so uh, we do minus for the crater, but still uh, we've managed to make it in. Pilot move has been made as well, just uh, getting ready for this combat here. Can't hurry, can intervene. Uh, only with Tellium, but James has elected not to go in with him. Uh, so the way this is lined up, the Exarch's going to have to fight against this squad, uh, but the way these are lined up here, that one. And this one, this one can fight against the Hellblasters here. And these three, because these are an inch of him who's within an inch, then they can fight against the Hellblasters as well. That's the priority, to bring down these wretched Hellblasters here as early as possible. Supreme Disdain we're going to play as well. So any sixes to hit, or six plus to hit, will result in an extra attack. So I'm going to go for six attacks into these three Hellblasters here. And that's going to be four hits. Supreme Disdain, an extra attack which hits as well. Threes to wound. No, three's to kill them, actually. It's three, and that's enough. So we have got that combat squad of Hellblasters just about. We've brought them down. Uh, so James are all four pluses to fight back. Two of them do. It's a single attack they make, which one of them hits, and a reroll, two of them hit. And... Fours. Fours. Two fives. Two fives, two wins. Okay. Three up saves. No, that's him brought down. He's already attacked, but he's gone. I know I'm going to take casualties here. This is the, the problem, but those hell blasters are gone. I'll attack with six attacks on the other side next. Threes to hit. There's two hits there for Supreme Disdain. Which one of them hits? Threes to wound. Three. Not as good as we'd hoped, but still not too bad. Three of the Hellblasters brought down. They're in range of the banner, so James rolled up to see if they can attack back. So, I uh, rolled three dice here to see if they attack. None of them do. All right, so three Hellblasters brought down. And finally, the Exarch here. All hit, and a Supreme Disdain. Of course, useful stratagem here, and that's got a hit as well. Uh, two's to wound with his Star Lance. Yeah, three of the uh, Intercessors brought down here by the Exarch. Uh, four pluses to fight with two of them. So just two rolls. Need fours. They both fight in defiance here and they both hit. And one wound comes through. So we'll take a three up save. Which we pass. Alright, so James gets to fight back here, but pretty good here from the Shining Spears. Okay, so James gets to strike back now. Uh, so it's this squad here fighting. Rerolling ones. So what's the new rules for them? Extra attack? Shock, at shock assault. Okay. So they get plus one attack when being charged. Or being charged at. Okay. Or, be, or doing a charge. It's good on primaries. Three attacks each. Yeah, James just take away the misses here. Uh, strength four. Toughness four. Rerolling ones. No, I think it's going to bring down some of the Shining Spears here. They've half done their job, though. They've gone after the Hellblasters. They've killed 8 out of 10 here, and they've wrecked one of the Intercessor squads as well. So whatever happens to them now, not complain. Uh, that too, can disperse. combat squad's gone. Okay. Eight wounds. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've got to make three up saves here. Which we pass all of them. <laughs> okay, right. 
So a bit of uh, resilience here at the moment, at least, as hell blasters. Seven attacks. Uh, no, yes, that's right, correct. No, you're exactly right. Is that four more wounds? Mm -hmm. The wounds are coming in here. This close combat taking place. Three plus. Just the one wound comes through. And we'll put it on to this one here at the back. Okay, so wound taken on him. And that is it. So that is the results here. Uh, some morale to do. I think James will probably be fine. Uh, plus six. Two, plus one yeah, there's all pluses going on here. And the Eldar should be all right as well. But we'll, we'll get morale uh, resolved here and end the turn. All right, so uh, morale complete. Uh, no one fleeing the battlefield here. Both sides determined to continue on with the fight. But we've seen turn one take place. It's been a shock assault here from the Eldar. Uh, the Shining Spears plunging into the Ultramarine line, uh, causing a lot of casualties. The Laser Lance is uh, very... Fitting here against Primaris Marines, bypassing the armor, two damage a time, they have caused havoc here in amongst the Ultramarine lines. But James has plenty of resistance still left on the board, and so the Eldar uh, will be cautious about early celebrations at this stage. We're going to turn one now for the Ultramarines as James decides how to react to this Eldar assault. All right, so uh, movement's taken place. James is keeping the Devastator Doctrine active here and swears that he will slaughter the Eldar. He absolutely hates the Eldar in general, but particularly doesn't like... I think one of the most hated units on the channel here uh, for players on the receiving end of them. But they're vulnerable here. Their charge has been complete. They've slain a lot of Primaris Marines, but now they can be shot at and charged and brought down. James has a host of characters he can plunge in against them. So Litany of Faith has gone off successfully on a 3+, plus. that's active. Uh, this squad here has pulled out of combat and has broken out in this direction. Uh, morale's fine for everybody, by the way, everyone's passed. Uh, these squads, this is an entire squad of 10, mm -hmm. is headed off in this direction, no doubt James will pull out some stratagems potentially for them to use. The Predators, uh, looks like a bit of manoeuvring taking place with these, and their firepower uh, potentially will be crucial here in this fight. Characters lining up against the Shining Spears. Two Hell Blasters are pulled out of combat. They're Ultramarines. They'll be able to pull out and shoot. And then uh, the Drop Pod has arrived. Turn one, its tactical ability here. Devastators disembarking, ready to lay down some firepower against the Eldar as well. This game is far from over here at this stage. And then across here, uh, a six rolled from advance. So uh, these two combat squads of infiltrators on the move heading off towards the center of the table that's movement done it's a strange looking game this one's very quiet over here just james's infiltrators in this sector of the table an eldar psychic cluster around here and then much of the fighting at on this quarter end of the table here we'll go on to uh, straight into shooting phase no psychers for you no just the ability to deny with akaran so we'll go on to shooting phase next the eldar about to receive taste of their own medicine here. Yeah. Alright, Captain Akaran's gauntlets fired to cause no wounds. A plasma pistol just wounded one of the Shining Spears. And that's... Uh, two damage. Two damage, right, okay. So it's the one with the wound at the back can come off, but one Shining Spear gone already. Five remain. Okay, Hell Blasters. Here it comes. One hit. Second one. Two, three hits. Three hits. Strength eight. Two's to wound. Three on ones. Oh, oh, wounded here. Okay. Nice so we go straight to Envan safe. Wish it was a three plus, but it's not. And we found two. Yeah. Two gone. Okay. So. Auto bolt rifles are better now. They've got three shots. Assault three. Yes. Three's for hits. Three on ones. I'm not getting a minus to hit bonus because uh, we're too close to James here. No wounds coming through. Okay. So carry, gonna chuck a crack grenade. Yes, may as well. Three plus. Three's to wound. No, it's rolled a two. Forgot to resurrect actually. So I'm gonna resurrect to help last. Yeah, no, I'll let you do that. That's fine. Honestly, that's fine. You can go yeah, ahead and do that. Plus I'm gonna attempt to resurrect. Which she doesn't, which is fair. Okay. Uh, which means you couldn't, couldn't shoot with a grenade because he's too busy extracting gene seed. Mm -hmm. Fine. Okay. Two hits. This is a Firepower coming from the Tech Marine. Two wounds. Two wounds come through. Okay. Uh, three ups. 
No, when taken. Okay, so pressing on with the shooting phase here, uh, James was flicking through the codex for kill shot. Kill shot's it's gone. gone. <laughs> so you can't can't use that one. But he's going to play stratagems over here instead. He has regained one of his command points. Signs of Gilliman and also Gravitic Amplification has been used as well. I take it that you're going after the Wraith Knight with their shots. Mm -hmm. Okay, here it comes. Uh, one, I think the sergeant's going to use his signum. Signum, sure. Two to hit. Okay. Rewind one for the sergeant. It's no invun saviour on this Wraith Knight, but we've got a lot of wounds and fortune as well to try and protect us as much as possible. They've all hit on two pluses. Threes. They've all missed. That's one, two. So where'd you get the reroll ones from? That's your signs of good. Yeah. Right, okay. Third one, reroll ones. Oh, it's helping. It's Devastated Doctrine's active. Oh, yes. And this is the last one. Rewind ones. Tactically, very useful to have these turn up so quickly and to provide some vital heavy support. So it looks like a valuable asset here, but we'll see what kind of damage they can do. Strength 5. Toughness 8, so it is 5 to wound. Rerolling because of gravitic application. Oh, this Wraith Knight could be in trouble here. That is the plan. James rolls well on this reroll. Which is rolled pretty good. AP minus four. <sighs> I'll re-roll the damage rolls as well. Re-roll the damage rolls. Mm -hmm. There's a four there that can disappear. So you've caused all of those. Uh, I'm not getting the minus one to hit because James is deployed within 12 inches. I'm gonna re-roll this ones. one and those this ones. One. And yeah, this, 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 this. keep the others. Oh. <gasps> Very good. Three, six, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen damage. Thirteen. Fifteen. Sixteen damage. D3. Sixteen. Sorry, sixteen. Sixteen damage on the night. You got fires to ignore, though. Fires to ignore. I need a really good roll here. That is a, a devastating hit here from behind this nasty devastator squad turning up. Good firepower. Right, let's see how fortunate this night is. Five pluses. He's going to ignore some of the damage. It's going to help. He's going to ignore five wounds, actually. Which helps, but uh, no, he's gone from 24 wounds down to 13 wounds left. Yeah, the sergeant doesn't get to shoot because he used the signal to help the squad. So that is their firepower complete. Down to 13 wounds here. Wraith Knight is in trouble. Predator still to fire. This is a Storm Boulder shot firing across the board. Uh, looking for hits against the Scorpions. That's a miss, actually, James. Because of minus one for, ooh, uh, for LA Talk. Okay. So Scorpions hidden away, forming a protective circle around the Psychers. It's turning into a nasty fight, this one. I knew it would be. Ultramarine firepowers can be terrifying at times. And it's proving to be good here at this stage. Predators still to shoot. This squad still to shoot. I think the Wraith Knight is doomed here. Okay, Kronos is going to try and bring the Wraith Knight down. I take it the uh, Hunter rocket launcher, Hunter, Hunter Killer. Killer. Yep, here it comes. Yeah, so threes, threes will be a hit because of LA Tuck. He's yeah. rolled a two. Craft World's saved the, <laughs> the Wraith Knight here with that shot at least. Uh, it's double as cannon shot. Threes again, ones and twos we're hoping for. Double one. And where is Kronos? I think he's away from the captain here. I think he is. Just... No, he's out of range. Unbelievable. Two ones, just as needed two hits. Two D3 shots with the Destructor to count three. They hit. They've all hit, yes. Fives. Fives to win, though. Two wounds, AP minus two. AP minus two because of Devastated Doctrine. Five pluses to block. No. Six damage. Six damage. That is terrifying. Five pluses to... No, the damage. Only one wound makes a fruit. That is one fortunate Wraith Knight down, <laughs> down to 12 wounds left. If it survives, it will be in a sorry it state. Will survive because it's still <laughs> Okay, James. James losing confidence in his I'm chapter not here. Just <laughs> the cheese. <laughs> okay. Uh, Kronos is fired. Two predators left. No, no need to press the panic button yet, but the Wraith Knight's still half alive. All right, James has just found a helpful new stratagem. He wished he'd played it earlier. Inspiring Command. Uh, so he's increasing Akaran's bubble by three inches, which will put this Predator in, which is going to fire uh, everything it has at the Wraith Knight. 
Yeah, I was just reminding James about minus one tip, but it's not devastated doctrines in play, and so there's no minuses for moving these heavy tanks and their heavy weapons. Okay, so hunter killer missile into the Wraith Knight. Threes, we are in once. Uh, fours. Fours hit. It's got the hit. Just we've all way here, but it hasn't stopped the hit from coming through. Fours to wound, though. No, Rerolling ones through ten. He's rolled a two. Command reroll. He's tempted to, it is d6 damage, he's going to leave it, okay. Uh, two laser cannon shots, now these need to find their mark. They do. Five and six for the Emperor. They will re-roll ones to wound. Three to wound, here it comes, this could be the Wraith Knight in trouble. Yes. four. Because of Devastator Doctrine, oh no. <laughs> two d6 damage. I'm going to keep the five. I'm mightily tempted to re-roll. Come on, re-roll the one. Oh, I've got... He's down to five. And no chance of a regain. Yeah, I might as well. So Go on, him. So he gets a one. Six. Oh, it's a six. No, eleven. We've almost killed the Wraith Knight here. Okay, so it's another fortunate test required. That's deadly. We need loads of five and sixes to set any chance of survival here. It looks impressive with those sixes, but the rest have made it through. So uh, we have taken eight damage and the Wraith Knight is in serious trouble. Okay, so uh, the auto cannons may well be able to finish this Wraith Knight off. Double six, that's six shots. Awesome. What predator is this that's firing like that? That one. That one. It's this one here is the hero at the moment here. He's saving the day single-handedly for the Ultramarines. We're on ones because of the stratagem. Yes, if that helps. It doesn't because of Wolfway. Uh, not all the way, sorry. Uh, Latok is the craft world hit. Minus one to hit rolls. No wounds, though. <sighs> Rafe Knight's still defiantly alive. Come on. And its fortune has kept him alive. He'd be long since dead without help from Eldred. Last cannon, last cannon. Hunter killer. Into that. Okay. And the auto cannon's going to shoot into that. Into the bikers. Okay, and the storm bolter as well. Yeah. Do it. So storm bolt rapid fire. Needing threes because we're in 12 now. Yeah, he's going to fire that first to try and pick off the wound here that's on one of these. Force to wound. One wound. Three iron ones to wound. Uh, Still one wound. Three plus, come on, keep him alive. Yes. Uh, right, the cannon. 2d3. Two, oh, two. two shots. Three iron ones. Mm, one hit. Two hits. Strength seven. Threes to wound. Two, oh, two, two. So I feel, do feel for you there. Okay. Uh, now, now the crucial point. You'll go nuts if you don't bring this knight down. Hunter killer missile. Needing a four for a hit. Rerolling ones. Yeah, he's got the hit. Four for a wound. Rerolling ones. Minus three. Oh, for hunter killer makes them really good. Yeah. Uh, six plus. Please. Yeah, so close. Six damage. Four plus. Two. Oh, it's rolled a two. Five pluses to ignore. We've blocked one. We're down to three wounds. This is going right to the wire here. James, do you still have this squad to fire, don't you? Yeah. That could be enough to bring him down. Okay. This is it. Two laser cannon shots with three wounds left on the night. <gasps> two. two hits. Three to wound. Three on ones. Both wounds. Oh, double. Double, <laughs> double six. Maybe minus four. 36 damage. No. Oh, ten. No. Oh, please. <laughs> oh no no no! Yes yes yes. <laughs> oh, Rafe Knight, see if he blows up. It does. No, oh, catastrophic collapse. Uh, you know, shooting phase. No, you no. Maybe, yeah. I think I did, didn't I, for um, a reroll for armor. Five plus invon save. Yeah, plasma pistol shot. So that, that has been a catastrophic collapse. Yeah, this is going to be bad for the avatar here. The Wraith Knight could fall on top of him. 2d6 range. I need a double one. No, it's eight inches. So the avatar is going to take just two mortal wounds, which will ignore on five plus. <gasps> the avatar of Kane. Look at that. Five and six. He ignores the damage. Out of range there. Eight inches, it can't be eight inches because you had to deploy nine inches away more. So everyone's fine. Wraith Knight collapses to the ground. He is destroyed. Oh, it's a sad sight. 
Uh, we'll leave him there, just as a a shrine for Eldar to visit in future days. Okay. So that's a shame, but uh, Wraith Knight is gone. Telling's going to shoot it today. Okay. James has some other firepower to go, uh, but the Eldar break out the tissues here. The tears are flowing from the Eldar's eyes. Right, two's to Italian next, firing here. We'll press on. All the tears have dried up. Real ones. James didn't shed any. It's a hit. This any is, roll uh, of six is a mortal wound in addition to damage, and it's two damage time at HP minus two. Ouch. So that is a wound at HP minus two. Right, four up in one save, which we pass. A shot bounces off the in one save here. Right. Okay, most of the firepower's done. I think the Ultramarines are happy enough. All three predators still alive. Wraith Knight destroyed. Okay, this squad here, they pulled out of combat, but they're Ultramarines. They can fire. Uh, so James just... Because of his Aurora of nine inches. So that's one hit. No wound. No wound, okay. And six shots. Needing fours. Three on ones. Yes, because the captain's Aurora has been boosted here with that stretch and it's still in play. Two wounds come through. Uh, AP minus one. Four up save. Pass both. Okay, I'm surprised that the bikers are still alive. So they could be a nasty sting in the tower here. Still, the Eldar have. And it's blocking James's firepower against my characters at the moment. Is he close, though? Ah, uh, we'll check here. We've got a range to measure from there to there and from there to there. Difficult, I think the avatar's closer. We'll just double check our ranges here. Yeah, it does fall to James's hand. The avatar's further away, actually. Uh, nine inches to here, ten inches to there. So James has to go against those. Uh, and that is your only target. So, so how much five pound does he want to use in his stratagems to enhance it against these bikers or just charging against them in close combat? Okay, uh, James has fired two grenades. One grenade, uh, one wound's coming through, four up. We passed that one, that was AP minus two. Add, uh, anyone say four up? Oh, yeah. So the rest of the squad's going to fire now uh, into these to try and reduce them down as much as possible. We'll miss the Wraith Knights. Firepower uh, is one of the best for trying to take down these three. These will cause trouble. If the Eldar try and move out to the central objective in later turns, they, and if they try and do that under a hell of firepower from these, it's going to be nasty enough. Well, James, no smoke from this. It is not a machine. It is a living organ. No, he's... <laughs> okay. Burning bone here. A smell of burning flesh and bone drifts across the battlefield. Okay, press some of your firepower. Focus here for the Emperor James and fire the rest of this squad into the bikers. I'd like to keep those models alive if possible. Three step. Three uh, yes, because of his ability. Yes, no, it's, I'm sorry, it's just the uh, LA talk, but you're in range of 12, so not getting any bonuses here. Not too good, a lot of misses here. These jet bikes are hard to target. Forced wound. Three, four wounds make it through. Four up saves. Two wounds. It's enough to remove that model from play and put a wound onto him. Okay. And that will do. Is there any other firepower left for you here? A lot of shootings come from the Ultramarines line, and that's without the units that have been slain. All those Hellblasters. So it's. Uh, Horrific amount of firepower can come from the Ultramarines. Now I have suffered this turn. I think I'm done. I'm going to charge. Charges and Overwatch coming up next. Okay, charges have taken place. Uh, the Chaplain charged first. Was hit by Laser Lance, uh, passed an invulnerable save, and he made it in. And then it's paved the way for Akran to charge in, who's made contact as well. I think James should be able to bring the last of these bikers down before we get a chance to strike back. And that will be too valuable if not the two most valuable units for the Eldar, removed from play. Compared to James's one, he's virtually lost the Hellblasters, uh, but I think the Eldar are coming off worse here uh, by the time this turn's concluded. Now Karan's attacks. Six. Six attacks. Five attacks base, shock assault. Extra attack, yeah. Using the gauntlet. Sure. Threes. Rerun ones, because he is Captain Akaran. And they all hit. Oh. Uh, strength 8. 2's to wound. We're on 1's because 
Yeah, so turn nearby. Five wounds, AP minus three. Uh, six is to block. Block one. D3 damage, they're going to die. So, uh, yeah, he'll die, then 3d3, no matter what you roll, they're gone. Target destroyed, Akaran can consolidate here, but finally, the Shining Spears have been eradicated. And that marks the end of the turn here for the Ultramarines. They have bounced back really well. Now, the Eldar are trying to pick up as many victories as possible in their bid to win the league here, but the Ultramarines are uh, spoiling the show for them here at this stage. So I'm just, we're going to tidy up the table here. And the Eldar need to think carefully about what they're going to do next. We'll go on to turn two now for the forces of the Eldar. So Eldar turn two, it's taken a while to kind of drop a plan here, uh, but we've moved out onto the objective. It's at the start of the turn, so we won't actually get a point this turn. If Eldred's still there, next turn on turn three for the Eldar, then he'll pick up a point. Uh, and then turn three onwards as well, uh, once that comes around, start getting points for vital intel units, keeping those alive. That's Eldred, uh, the Altark here on the bike, and then also the Altark, the Warlord, with the Reaper launcher. And then for James, yours is Captain Akran, the Chaplain, and the Lieutenant. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's James's three characters he needs to keep alive as well. Uh, Avatar's gone seven. I, I haven't been able to get off of this here, which we're counting as a crater, so it's going to slow his charge move down. Uh, but he's moved around just to try and mix it up here with the Ultramarines. Most of our units, or the main unit for our attack, the Shining Spears, is gone. Rave Knight gone as well, so it has blunted our assault into this corner. Uh, the jet bike's been distracted away uh, from the attack and he's headed off in this direction to try and take on these Devastators. Uh, with no Wraith Bone to knit, uh, the Bone Singer now will use Smite instead in the Psychic phase. Uh, the Rangers have turned up one, two, three units, one inside the bunker, two along the defensive line along here. Eldred's moved out onto the objective. We're keeping these inside here, protected by the Scorpions, this cluster of characters, and the Dark Reapers have joined them. Uh, just inside gain cover there as well. That's the movement done for the Eldar. Psychic phase for them next. Okay, psychic phase complete here. Fortune's gone off to protect the Scorpions. Uh, Conceal's gone off on the Scorpions as well. It's minus one to hit them. Guide's gone off on the Dark Reapers. Smite was successful, took off three mortal wounds. James using his litanies of fate here, but didn't help. Faith. Faith. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, so three mortal wounds taken on the Intercessor squad. Uh, Smite took off one of these. James chose the Sergeant. And then we play Quicken on the Autark. And we've moved him just over an inch away from the Devastator. So it's gone quite well here for the Eldar. We'll go on to their shooting phase next. Okay. So we're going to fire the Dark Reapers. It's the damage three option with these. We're going to go for uh, the Grey Dice is the Exarch. Threes to hit. Guide. Okay, four hits. Now the crucial point here. Threes to wound. Exarch gets to reroll. And it makes it through. Okay, three saves at minus two. So James must pass at least one of these. He probably will. And uh, no. Surely a command reroll is that Predator's a goner. Oh, he doesn't like it. <laughs> he doesn't like being put in these situations. <laughs> oh, dear. Eldar trickery is back. I hate, I hate 
I'm not going to do it. You're not going to do it? No, there's no point. It's a waste. I hate being reactive. So. Okay, so you've, is so that... I won't get a command reroll. Sure. Okay, that's your decision. Just yeah, stop. Right. Just roll dice to see what would have happened if you had have rolled. No, no you would have still would have died. Okay, and now to see if you explode. No, no right. Eldar, happy enough. Dark Reapers have uh, pulled out some great supporting fire here. One of the Predators all of a sudden is gone. Okay, so uh, impressive there from the Dark Reapers as they've arrived. Uh, we've then played Fire and Fade on them and pulled them away here just to get them out of line of sight of James's other two Predators. Uh, they're a useful asset to try and keep alive. Uh, we'll now fire the Autark here uh, with the Reaper launch and fire at James's banner. So we'll fire the damage three shot, which misses, uh, which hits. Two to wound. Oh, it's a one. Okay, so that's a one, uh, and we cannot... Reroll that, or do you use to come on reroll this turn? Okay, so Exarch has failed. Trying to bring some of James's characters down here if possible. Uh, we'll turn to our snipers to see if they can help here to try and bring characters down. It's tough. They've, they've arrived, so they'll be on minus one to hit rolls for them being fours. But there are 15 of those to shoot with. Uh, press on with some firepower here uh, for other Eldar units. There's a few left to shoot with. So we'll go Laser Lance down here, which hits. And fouls to wounds, so that will not kill one of those. And then we'll go Shrook and Catapults. We'll hit. Wow. Okay. Uh, two saves of two plus, and one save of five plus. Five plus? No. Nope. And two others? Two plus. James is getting the benefit of the crater here. Yes. Let's pass those. Okay. So any of them? This one? Um, that close one there. This one? No. This one? That one, yeah. Come on. Okay, so he's gone. Right, so we're going to use the snipers to try and take on the chaplain. Try and pick him off. It's the lower amount of wounds. Minus one. Minus one because we landed, yeah. Fours. And four pluses. Nothing from that squad. Next squad. Fours. It's a terrible round of shooting here. But a mortal wound comes through and a save required of two plus. It's a one playing whole facing here. So, you can leave it. Two wounds taken. Yeah. And the last squad... Just the one hit, he's safe, and no wound comes through. Two wounds taken on the chaplain. The Wailing Doom hits, wounds, minus four, d6 damage. It's three, three wounds taken. Yeah, I'm going to roll another dice here. It's a guaranteed two dice, no matter what the range is. It's a superior melter. We can bump that up another wound down to four now on Kronos. Seven, two. Still in on twos, yeah, he's decent enough. All right, not too bad here from the Elder, not going to complain. One Predator down, and a bit of damage across the board here, so not too bad. We'll go on to Charges and Overwatch now, as the Eldar uh, continue on with their plan. All right, Charges have taken place here. Uh, no Overwatch allowed here because of the Shimmer Plumes. He's gone straight in. Uh, then around here, Avatar, uh, we've slowed down by trying to get out of this crater here. Rolled an eight, minus two, six. We've made it to here. We'll hopefully lap around a little bit. But I don't think we're going to get to an inch of this uh, to try and reach in close combat. We did declare the charge against this predator here. James then uses stratagem called defensive focus. defensive focus. Other units joined in an Overwatch. A total of two wounds taken on the Avatar uh, from Overwatch from here, 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 him, and the lieutenant picked off a wound as well. Yeah, um, two damage. But when we blocked on with molten body. All right, so charges have taken place. This is sort of the last attacking unit going in here, the old good old Avatar of Cain charging in. Uh, and then across here, hopefully a mopping up action with the Altark. We'll get these combats resolved next. So I've swung around, not reaching the uh, Predator here. James will be happy enough. Kronos will uh, escape this, but um, we'll roll our attacks into the infantry squad. Choose to kill them, potentially. Yeah. Um, so damage, choosing the best. So the first one. Next one, next one, and just looking for, don't get double ones, no. Okay, so four of these marines brought down here by the Wailing Doom sword. One's in range of the banner, nope. and fails, all right. So James removed four of those Primaris marines from play. That'll help hit there, and nice little sort of wounds removed from this ultramarine force. James going to take the models off the board. Okay, so we'll attack down here next to the Altuck. Two's to hit, they've all hit, and three's to kill marines, yep. AP minus four, they're gone. So that's that squad removed. Mission accomplished for him. Uh, their firepower's nasty. We've had to deal with it, couldn't ignore that. So the Devastator squad removed. James now attack, he's piled in already uh, with the Primaris Marines down here. Uh, those two are out of the combat. 
these four are in, including the sergeant, and it's shock assault, is it called? Yep. Yeah, all right, so an extra attack there as well. So uh, 8, 12, 13 attacks, I think it should be. Leading threes. It's all very good. Four. Five's to win, though. Two. Three. The avatar's not going to die. And we'll roll up some saves for him. Three plus. Molten body. Molten body. <laughs> His body truly is molten. Okay. So uh, that's that combat resolved across there. Indeed, that's the turn finished here. Not too bad from the Eldar. Not going to complain. Right. Uh, morale to do. Yeah, James's squad should be fine. They're all to six. He'll, he'll re-roll that straight away for a nation and no fear. Minus three says so nine. So I'll re-roll that. Yeah, let's see what he gets. It should be alright. Those are all to six again. We'll let him calculate if there's any trouble. Uh, uh, but other than that, Eldar doing okay. Not too bad. But the game's still far from over here. The Ultramarines need to clear up the last of the Eldar assault. Just the Avatar left. And then they can make their own attempt here on the centre of the table. The whole focus now, as we get into the middle stage of the game, is going to be that central objective. Who will take control of that? And who can keep their assets alive? Eldrad... Altark just here, and the Skyrunner all quite safe at the moment. And James's character's looking safe enough. The chaplain's wounded, but uh, the Epoch very uh, will probably put some wounds back on him. James, you're saying you lost one? One. Yeah, one model slain. Fine, okay. Turn finished. Turn two now for the Ultramarines. All right, so moving for the Ultramarines here. So they're pushing out in this direction. Uh, wounds being restored, so you automatically get a wound back, mm -hmm. and then James has restored three with the Tech Marine, very useful here, so back up to eight now with Kronos, proving very difficult uh, to destroy, and ignoring the Avatar, I think James is going to drive by and shoot him with the units, there's Predator anchoring at the back as well, so the Avatar may well be brought down here just with six wounds left, uh, these may well prove uh, to cause trouble, so if you switch Doctrine now, yes, so you've gone on to tactical. So AP minus one with their firepower. And we're not in cover because we're the wrong side of the barricade here with these rangers. They may well find themselves in trouble here. James knows he must drive the Eldar off of the central objective to stand a chance of winning the game. The Eldar know that they must hold the central objective. So things are going to get tense here. This is building up for a, a finale here in the centre of the table. Captain Akaran leading the way and Lieutenant Toupe following... Uh, just behind. Lieutenant. Lieutenant Toupe's name has been given. If you zoom in on his head, he has a huge t toupee on top of his head. I'm sorry, but that's that's the way it's been well, painted. He's got long blonde hair. No, we, yes, but we have our hoods up, keeping our hairstyles away. Oh, okay, all right. Uh, we'll push on here <laughs> with uh, <laughs> yeah, firepower coming up next for the Ultramarines on turn two. Okay, uh, a wound taken on the Altark here. He's been wounded by the drop pods firing through. Okay, so Predator, here it comes. Everything's going into the Avatar. Yep. Threes to hit the Avatar here. There's the two Alter guns. Yeah, 2d3 shots. Three. Shots. three. Eating threes. Two hits. Oh. Seven. Threes to wound. One wound. AP minus one. Yes, because you switched Doctrine. We'll take a four-up save. Come on, let's block this. Yes, blocked. Yeah. Okay, next. Stormbolt. Oh, Stormbolter. Fives to wound. Nothing. Two laser cannon shots. Little bit of pressure. They've hit. Lieutenant is... No, it's too far away. So one wound comes through. Five plus to block it. Oh, yeah. James says, yes, I think it is. Hole facing, it's a six. Avatar has not been scratched here. Firepower from this Predator, and all of a sudden, there's a rampaging Avatar behind your lines. Kronos now, it's uh, brought his attention. Uh, the radio signal comes through. Avatar not dealt with, sir. Kronos spins the turret round. Stand by. Here Volume it comes. Twos, pulled out a combat and moved. Because the doctrine's changed. But shall I do a stratagem? for one CP to make it as though it counts as stationary. Right, okay. James' situation is two command points left. The Eldar have uh, two left as well, so we haven't spent all of our command points yet. I think it's safe to say we should do that. He's going to use the stratagem. Okay. Where are we going? I don't 
effect. No, okay. Down to one, Down to one command point left. I think this game could be a tense ending here. It's building up that way. So he's on freeze to hit. But still, he pulled out a combat. Yes, so but it's just minus one. It's just the minus one. Okay, here it comes. And again, James is within 12, so don't get my LA Tuck minus one to hit. Maximum fire power. What is this? The auto cannon. 2d3 shots. Five. Five shots. Ah, oh, the avatar's in trouble. Threes to hit because he's Kronos. Are you rolling ones? Four hits. And Threes to wound. Are you rolling ones because of the lieutenant? Two pay. Failed. Two. Okay. Two have made it through. At minus one. Four ups. <gasps> Blocked one. I c mightily tempted to go for a command reroll. Yeah, why not? Let's just do this. Four plus. Ah, passed. Two last cannons. Two last cannons. One hit. Oh no. There's a bit of trouble now. Potentially. He's still got hell blasters left. I still got hell blasters left, so I'm not going to use the strategy. Okay. Uh, needing a three to wound. Three to wound. Don't get a one or a two. He's rolled a four. Okay. Minus three. Minus three. Uh, six plus to keep that stratagem, by the way. No. Demon save. Demon save. Five plus. If we pass this, we will. jump for joy. <gasps> no. D6 damage. Dice oh, a one. Command reroll. Command reroll. The last command point being used up by James. It doesn't keep Correct. it. All command points gone. And the damage is a four. a four. It's a lot better. Uh, we'll go for Molten Body. Five plus. One of them, three wounds taken, down to three left. The avatar is still alive, he's gravely wounded, but this character still remains alive in James's deployment zone. James is pointing at the Hellblasters, they're going to fire here, but absorbing a lot of ultramarine firepower to get rid of this character here. Uh, plasma cutter, first of all. Threes. From the Tech Marine. Hit. And strength seven. Uh, Rio wants to wound, Lieutenant. Wounded, AP minus three. Oh no, damage. Oh, right, okay. Molten body. Molten body. No, down to two. And that could pave the way for your Hellblasters to finish him off. But uh, bolt gun firing now. Two hits. Two hits. Or well, the tech marine could do it himself. Yeah. Actually, uh... Just the pistol could shoot. The rest uh, can't fire. It's the pistol being fired. Okay. So, Hellblasters then. Are you in rapid fire is the question here. Yes, and yes. Two shots each. Are you going to supercharge? Surely you must. Okay, two shots needing threes. Two shots needing fours because of a Latoc craft world. Rewind ones. He misses. Misses with that one. One's got through so far. Rewind ones. Still only one that's got through. Still only one has made it through. And a model slain. Four plus each to shoot. Oh, no. He does. He does. Two more shots. Oh. So that's Two have made it through. Made it through. Strength, eight, toughness, six. Threes to wound, re-rolling ones. That's the sergeant removed. One wound. Eight minus five. Eight minus five, okay. So, uh, five plus, we'll be happy. I just rolled the dice in it. Didn't even make it to the table. Five plus. Yes, we have passed. And the avatar is still alive. I, I still, the avatar may well be brought down here. So James still has firepower to come, uh, but it's he's having to direct more and more firepower to remove this. Oh, Look yeah. at that. Five to wound. Good. Two wounds, we're rolling ones. Ah, oh, Lieutenant. AP minus one now. Shouldn't have insulted him here. Lieutenant two pays, got three wounds, come through. Minus one. Mm -hmm. Four ups. That's uh, four damage. I'm gone. It's master crafted. He may have a terrible hairstyle, but his firepower is pretty good. Uh, oh, 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 no, dead. Avatar gone. The lieutenant's brought him down. Good firepower here. Avatar removed from play. Ah, oh, it's a shame. It would have been so useful to have him as a, a valuable resource next turn, but the avatar is gone. Right, Sergeant Tellian to fire next. He's going after the Spirit Seer. Two's to hit. Rewind ones. Oh, it's minus one to hit, isn't it? Uh, no, it's off way for him, so you can hit him. Forgot about this sniper that James has here. Two hits have come through. Toughness three. Four. Threes to wound. 
Uh-oh. Mortal wound. Ouch. Plus normal damage. Plus normal damage of two. AP minus? Two. Uh, actually, yeah. you're wrong, it's AP minus three. But he's AP minus two now. Okay. Past, I think, on a fire. I think there's an invulnerable save for the spirits here. Yeah, it's just a, one, a wound taken. It does have a four plus invulnerable save, thankfully. So, spirits here is okay, but he's had a wound uh, removed here. Uh, three wounds remain for him. James has other squads. He's got a few bits left that can fire. He's going to fire ahead here, and then uh, these infiltrators, there's their firepower to do as well. Okay, uh, more firepower has been resolved. You can see the snipers have taken a battering here. They've been fired at from both sides. Yeah, lots of shots coming through from here. James's squads. And uh, looks like he's got a little bit more shooting to do. Let him roll that up. Uh, and then firepower from this squad here, uh, firing through, has reduced uh, this squad down by three. There's been minus two to hit them for all the way and being rangers. But still, the hits have been coming through and the wounds. Two more wounds. Two more wounds. Two more. Which direction does that come from? Uh, that's six that way. Okay. That's fine. Yes, no, we'll partake of the barricade here then. So five ups then. Pass one, another one. Rangers slain. Oh, they've been picked off quickly here. That's what they do. Yeah, no, they're not bad. They're annoying. They're a large squad, 20 wounds to try and get through. Uh, the Eldar can only ignore them for so long. Okay. So the idea is to put these... I shouldn't... Trying to put them around here to, as a screen to protect the character, but in doing so, they've made themselves available to be shot at from both sides. Caught in a crossfire here. We'll go on to charges. None. That's it. End of turn two. The game's still on. It's evens. Yeah, yeah generally evens. Maybe the Eldar slightly behind. We'll go on to turn three. Now, the middle stage of the game, the advantages that the Eldar have is they hold the centre of the table for now at least. Turn three coming up for them next. Right, Eldar movement on turn three. Uh, it's starting to converge onto this objective, the fight for the central ground. We've got to try and weaken these ultramarines as much as we can as they close in. Moving out seven, now we've left the bunker, headed off in this direction. Double Warlock, Spirit Seer, Scorpions heading off. Uh, holding position here with the Altar with the Reaper launcher, uh, but then the Dark Reapers... Oh, bomb, are just going overhead. Drop the bomb! Got him! Right on the toupee! And then the Dark Reapers have moved back up on top here. As we're zipping across, just going to ignore the drop pod for now. and going to zip across with him. May need his assistance either in that direction or uh, across on this side. Uh, Rangers holding position. Uh, Eldra has shifted forwards a little bit just to get in smite range. And uh, it made an advanced move here with the Bone Singer again for smite as well. Movement done. Eldar now are entirely in this zone on the board. We'll go on to their psychic phase next. All right, psychic phase complete. Not too bad here from the Eldar. Uh, Smite was blocked here. Akaran using his Deny the Witch ability. Sanctic Halo. Sanctic Halo. Uh, but Eldred Smite went through. Three mortal wounds. Picked off two of the uh, intercessors there. Just the one left with the grenade launcher. One of those scorpions. Yes, then when you died, you shot one of the scorpions and brought one down. So that's mm -hmm. one casualty marker needs to go over there. I since then moved them concealed them and protected them as well. So two up save, another minus one to hit them. Uh, and they moved seven inches. An eight inch charge would get them in against the infiltrators, possibly. Uh, guide's gone off here from Eldred. Doom's gone off uh, against James's predator, Kronos. Okay, so shooting phase coming up next. So I'm going to fire the star swarm option, I think it's called. It's the double shot. here. It'll be fives to wound, but it's re-rollable with Doom. Against Kronos. Here we go. Threes. We'll re-roll these here for guide. Not so good at all. Fives to wound. And it's re-rollable. Okay. That will destroy you unless James rolls a save here of 5+, plus, which he should do. So I don't think we're going to bring Kronos down. 5-pluses. Uh, oh, just about. Two wounds left on Kronos. I think the Autark has to try and finish him here. We'll go for the solid shot option. Uh, so it's going to be a two to hit. Hits. Three to wound. No, but he's doomed. It does wound. It's a 5-plus to stay alive. Oh, we rolled a six just as you needed it. Oh, it was lined up so good. Kronos survives on two. He's still doomed. Uh, we could try and... Uh, yes, he's still doomed. Maybe snipers could pick off a couple of wounds if Kronos 
pokes his head up above the parapet here, uh, we could <laughs> try and pick him off. We'll see, but that's a shame because he's still going to fight his normal ballistic skill. Mm -hmm. You can restore wounds, uh, so Kronos is still very much alive. So we'll see if we can pick off Kronos here. Five shots for the sniper squad. And that's three hits. Because you Yeah, five to wound. Sixes would be great. Gets the mortal wound. wound. And two wounds. Yes. Is that as well as normal damage? Yeah. Three yeah. saves of three plus. <gasps> Saved. Oh, he's passed all three. <laughs> Another wound taken. Oh, we've got one wound left. Is there anybody anywhere? That can help anyone, no. anybody. No. Yes. Yeah. One sniper. Oh dear, Hollywood. Three plus. Be a hero. Yeah, he's got his hit. Five plus for a win. If you get a six, this is going to be amazing. Yeah, he's got a six. I can't believe it. Someone make him an all star. Oh, there's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you can do. This is a. James is going to have a quick shuffle for his stratagems, but I think Kronos could have been brought down here. Incredible. This is ridiculous. Litany of Faith counts for any units. Don't roll a... F <gasps> no. Oh, dear. Oh, boy. Right. Uh, roll. You've got no command points left, have you? No. Don't roll a six. I already will. Five. <gasps> He's rolled a five. <laughs> that was close. That was close. Oh, dear. I'll roll right. a one. Kronos is slain. Don't roll a one. Five. It's a five. All right. Kronos lives. But another predator brought down here. Uh, that's uh, good news for the Eldar. So one of those tanks removed from play. Still, James has decent firepower on the board. I think that's all the firepower done. Eldar happy enough. But do they have enough survivability here to camp out on a central objective? We're going to charges and overwatch next. Okay, so we've made it in. Rolled a 10 for our charge. No hits at all on overwatch. So the scorpions have plunged into the infiltrators. I think that's the first time clash between these two units. So we'll make our attacks with nine scorpions and aerial doom hands is amongst them. Okay, so we'll do uh, Mandy Blasters next, first of all. In sixes. Just the one. So mortal wound taken, uh, first of all. We'll go for scorpion chain swords next. Threes to hit here with the scorpion chain swords. That's <laughs> absolutely terrible. Um, there's some hits have come through. Plus one strength. So that one missed. Four saves required here of three plus. These infiltrators are not going to be brought down. One of them, one wound. It's enough to bring one of them down. Nine remain. So now it's down to Ariel Doomhand to try and make a difference. Uh, three attacks here of Ariel Doomhand. Uh, two hits. Threes to wound. Just the one wound. AP minus three. So James make a six up save, which he doesn't, and the damage is D3. And it's just the one wound comes through. So uh, one of the infiltrators Answer. takes a wound. Okay. Ah, uh, tough enough there. So uh, James can three attacks each. attack back. Impressive. Yeah, impressive amount of attacks here. 28 attacks. That's uh, more than we got. Needing uh, minus ones to hit? No, there's no minus at all. Threes will be hits. So there's some misses. Looks pretty average here. James, we have threes to wound. The one thing that could help us is our two plus save for protect. Threes to wound. There's a fair few have failed, so we'll have to be making some saves. Looks about nine or ten saves to make. All right, ten saves to make here. And we do foul three of them. Ouch, Scorpions being brought down here. Yeah, so Scorpions have plunged in, but they're being outclassed here by these infiltrators. Uh, we can hold them for only so long. It's getting kind of desperate here for the Eldar, looking thin on the ground. Uh, it's end of turn. Morale. Bit of morale to do, and the turn's finished. Okay, moving for the Ultramarines here on turn three. Uh, for them, Listening of Faith has gone off. The infantry now, Predator has been left behind. The infantry now pressing on towards the objective. Breaking out of combat across here with the infiltrators. They'll be able to shoot. It's just minus one to hit rolls. Mm. Oh, that's very useful. Big unit that. Difficult to deal with here. Uh, Predator with the Tech Marine anchoring at the back to provide decent firepower support as the infantry group goes in towards the centre of the table. Quite straightforward here from the Ultramarines. Simple plan uh, to try and kick the Elder off as quick as possible. Go on to shooting phase next. OK, uh, shooting phase has been resolved here. A uh, number of wounds coming through it, passing all of our two up, or three up saves after AP minus one. Uh, so no more scorpions brought down. That was firepower uh, from the infiltrators here. 
Eldrad took two wounds. That was Tellian uh, picking off the wounds against him. Uh, two of the rangers brought down as well. It's firepower coming in from these squads. Uh, the Predator firing through. Passed a, uh, a couple of saves. One of the Dark Reapers brought down just there. And then a Stormbolt to firing through across here. Uh, missed the Autark. I think that's it. No charges to take place. James can pull out of combat, but he can't charge again. Uh, out of range here to charge with these units. Turn finished. We're going to turn four now. Time's ticking away as the game moves on, and the Eldar are still controlling the central ground. Turn four for them next. All right, so turn four for the Eldar. Movement done. Looking very thin on the ground here. We've still got some key characters alive. Uh, holding position with these. Uh, multiple options. Scorpions lining up for another charge. We can shoot, chuck a grenade, and go in for the kill. And they might be supported here by this Altark on the jet bike as well. Uh, our Psyche is now starting to cluster around the objective. We're going to pick picked up a bonus point at the start of the turn as we control the central objective. The two scouts have jumped down here, uh, the rangers, and hidden away, trying to get out of line of sight of James's advancing units. Just within smite range of him and that is movement complete psychic phase next okay psychic phase complete not too bad uh quickens gone off the altox double moved again swung around behind uh the infiltrators here uh smite went off twice and one mortal wound then followed by three mortal wounds from eldred took out the lone marine from that lead squad we played yeah james uh, listeners of fate or faith didn't help. Uh, Doom's gone off against that five-man squad. That's the last of the intercessors on the board. And then uh, Conceal didn't go off trying to protect these. Protect did. So up to a two-up save with the Dark Reapers. That is Psychic Phase complete. Not too bad here. It's help it really is helping the Eldar here, keeping them in the game. We'll go on to Shooting Phase for them next. So Shooting Phase going to fire these. Uh, into this intercessor squad. I want to get rid of them if we can. Eight shots for the star swarm option. Needing threes. Uh, Rerolling ones for the altar nearby. And threes to wound. It's terrible, but thankfully that unit's doomed. Uh, four saves at minus two. So four saves of five plus here. Yeah, James is just going to place his apple down on the table. And roll four dice and get five pluses. Two. Yes. And so damage. damage of two. So uh, um, two models slain. There's the banner. So James. Ah, uh, hang on. Yes. This litany is inspiring. Model yeah, friendly chapter unit six. Right. So the first one. Yeah. Uh, two dice theme fives. Ah, damage is nowhere near as good as we'd hoped. So Block nice. that. So the next model go on. carries on to that model. No, it carries on to that model, and then you roll two now need fives to try and save, which need two fives. No. no, almost. Okay, so one model slain in the end. Good Dark shoot. Reapers. And a four plus to make him shoot. Uh, four plus. Yep. Yes. Okay, so checking range. They're out of line of sight. Checking range 30. Yeah. Yes. A shot's going to come back against the Dark Reapers here. Two shots because the tactical doctrine is still active. Both hit. Uh, both wounded. Two wounds come through. Minus two. AP minus two. Because it's a bolt, rifle, and tactical doctrine. Okay, three up save. Uh, becomes four up, five up, then four up, then three up because of the power and cover. It's threes. Save both, thankfully, thanks to some psychic help. Uh, by the way, morale here for this lone sniper, he failed. So, as we've said before in many a game, uh, heroes are born in 40k, but they do not last very long. So that's famous. He died. He's gone, yes, he's parting. That's right, yeah, he's dead. Solid shot, just to make sure he died. Oh, sorry, no, I'm getting muddled up. You shot him with a grenade launcher. Okay. <laughs> well, either way, he's gone. Okay, so we'll go on to a little bit more firepower to go here, but that's a shame. Needed them to have a bit more impact, but we'll press on. Okay, rest of the shooting complete here. Uh, Scorpion's chucking a plasma grenade. Uh, Ariel Doomhand scored two hits and two sixes rolled uh, for his... Uh, assault weapon on the on his uh, scorpion fist and then uh, plasma or uh, shuriken pistol shots coming through a total of five wounds dealt out firepower coming in from the altar as well the laser lance failed to wound uh, then across here 
the Altark firing through saw that earlier. Oh no, the Altark fired through, fired at the Apocryphal and tried to take him down. One wound caused James passed one of his five pluses for listening of faith. That's shooting done. Just shots here and there coming through from the Elder, uh, gradually grinding the Ultramarines down. I think James has more wounds and toughness on the table. But the advantage is that the Eldar are better located at this point. We're going to charges and overwatch for the Eldar next. Right, so charges taken place. The Scorpions have gone in, and so has the Altark. Went in first to block overwatch. Okay, just rolling up attacks here. Uh, the Scorpions fighting away. Mandy Blasters have just brought another one of the Infiltrators down. And then those have failed. Just, this is the wounds coming through here. Uh, seven saves James needs to make of three plus. Uh, three pluses. Ones and twos, not good. Another infiltrator brought down. Okay, gradually bring them down here. Uh, Ariel Doomhand to fight next of his three attacks. Sixes will be excellent. They've all hit. Threes to wound. Two wounds come through. Two saves of six plus. James is down to half strength now. Save one. D3 damage to bring another one of these down. Yes, another infiltrator destroyed. We'll hand over to the Altark now of his four attacks. Twos to hit. Real one in ones. They've all hit. And threes for kills. Three more infiltrators brought down all of a sudden. There's just one marine left in that squad. Good combo here. Scorpions on the aggressive working together with their all tuck. Uh, oh, Scorpions back to three up. So James going to attack back here with the sergeant. Yeah. Two wounds come through. AP minus five. Save you minus zero. Ah, one scorpion brought down. Okay. Bit of revenge there, but uh, it's been a slaughter on this flank. Two, plus nine, eleven. Morale's gone. They're, they've given up on that flank there, uh, so Eldar now secure that flank. And that marks the end of the turn. Uh, we'll go now on to turn four for the Ultramarines. Right, so moving quite straightforward, uh, the command party and the remnants of James's force closing in onto the objective. So, shooting phase next. Right, so uh, shooting's taken place here. James struggling to see these. I hit them behind the bunker, just the line of sight, making them hard to hit. Uh, Talion, no damage on uh, Eldred this time around. James took out one of the Dark Reapers here. That's firepower from the Predator. Three scorpions brought down. That was good firepower coming in from... This squad across here, an AP minus two of tactical doctrine in play. Shooting phase finished. Ah, time's ticking away here. This is going to be the end of turn four. Charges, yes, potentially. All right, so movement phase here for the Eldar. Looks like the last stand, uh, closing characters around. Ones that aren't carrying the intel out the front to try and block James's potential attack from coming through. Scouts or Rangers holding position. We've brought the Altark across here on the bike. Eldred's now been joined by the Spirits here, holding position here with these as well, ready to lend some firepower support. And the Scorpions have disappeared. They've gone into the uh, building across here to pick up line breaker points. Shooting phase or psychic phase next. All right, psychic phase complete here. Uh, a lot of smite damage being ignored here with Litanies of Faith uh, being used. One mortal wounds come through against that squad. They're doomed as well. Guide's gone off across here, and that is it. We'll go on to shooting phase next. Okay, shooting phase complete. Not too bad here. This squad's been wiped out. The doomed squad, that was firepower coming in from uh, these guys here. They've got some good uh, wound rolls coming through. Guide helping them also. We use this guy here, the Altark, to pick off the Apocryphary. He's gone. He had one wound. Took three from the missile shot and he is gone. And that is it. James fired back with grenade launchers and uh, the intercessors there with the bolt rifles picked off a wound here on this warlock. And we periled here earlier, by the way, in the psychic phase. So two mortal wounds taken on the spirits here, one wound left. Shooting done. There's no infantry now. It's all characters across here. Uh, it's virtually all characters across here as well. This game is going right to the wire. End of turn five here uh, for the Eldar. We're going to turn five, possibly the last turn of the game now for the Ultramarines. Okay, movement's complete. The character's closing in. The Eldar have thrown out a screen here of more expendable characters, whilst the point holding the characters are at the back. That's it. Pretty straightforward. James still has his firepower support coming from the Predator. We'll go on to shooting phase next. All right, shooting phase complete. One of the Warlocks has been brought down. The other one's on a wound. 
And uh, I'm also going to cause here that was from Tellian firing through. We passed two in one save zone, kept a lot of the damage away. Uh, Predator here struggled to bring down any of the Dark Reapers. Wounds coming through, but passing some cover saves here. So, shooting phase complete. There are charges here, and Overwatch to resolve next. All right, charges have taken place. I Akran tried to get through to here to Eldrad, didn't roll high enough. Uh, but now James has characters in range of this objective here. This is getting very, very tight at this stage. All these have made it into close combat. I did say James only had characters. There is a Hellblast still alive, just there. Uh, so, charged in. Banner hasn't made it in, but the rest have no problem at all. Uh, it's the Eldar screen sort of holding back the Ultramarines, but they have closed the range to the objective now. This is going to be tight, this finish. Right, so James will resolve his attacks in the Eldar. I'll try and survive fight back. All right, so uh, combat's resolved across here. James has taken out this front screen, and Akran's pushed through and is now toe-to-toe -to -toe with Eldrad fighting for uh, this central objective. That's the turn finished. Uh, so points being handed in. James still has his three characters alive. One, two, and three. Eldar have their three alive, so each of us are going to pick up three points. Each, James will roll a dice, or one of us will roll a dice. We'll check the rules, see what the rules say, see who rolls to see if the game continues. Okay, so the player had the first turn, it's the Eldar. One or two, the game will end. It's a five, it's going to be turn six. This is going to be close. Eldar turn six, coming up next. All right, so movement done. These are on the move now. This is it's all closing in on this objective. Eldred's backed off out of an inch away from Akaran. Uh, the Autarchs jumped around. This is the last flurry of activity here to see who can win this game. Movement done. Uh, we'll go on to Psychic Phase for the Eldar next. All right, Psychic Phase complete. Would you believe it? Akaran's gone. It was three mortal wounds from the Spirits here. James tried to block it, needed nine, uh, needed over nine, and failed. And then... Uh, Smite coming from here, another three mortal wounds. Litanies wasn't in play. Six mortal wounds in total. Akaran has been brought down. James is just going to roll some dice to see what would have happened. He would have lived with a wound left. Psychic face complete. Just as the Eldar needed a decent result, they've pulled it out here. It's Warlord slain and one of the intel point units picked off as well. Uh, we'll press on. Uh, Ultrain is now lacking their captain. Could be trouble. Shooting phase for the Eldar next. So, uh, we're on shooting phase here, just for psychic phase as well. At Eldred, Guide and Doom uh, went off as well. So, Guide's gone off on these, and we've doomed the Lieutenant as the next target for Eldar firepower. Uh, so, we'll resolve the shooting phase for the Eldar next. Got a sense here the Eldar may have tipped the game in their favour just with the loss of that captain. Quite a fluke result there, but we'll press on Eldar shooting next. Okay, uh, so shooting phase complete as a, a wound put onto. The Hellblaster, two wounds put onto the banner that came from uh, this guy here, uh, the Altar. And then the Doomed Lieutenant truly was doomed, taken out here by uh, the Dark Reapers. The shooting phase complete, uh, no damage coming from these either. Uh, down to the last few models in the centre of the table now. Uh, charges and Overwatch next. Yeah, charge is complete here. Uh, Autarchs jumped around. Eldrag couldn't charge, didn't want to charge any of the others. Tried to charge with him against the Chaplain and fouled roll to five. So uh, we'll get these combats resolved next. So Altark will fight here. Uh, two attacks against the banner, first of all. Both hit. Three to wound. Yeah, one wound comes through. AP minus four, two damage. Uh, so the... Four plus gets to fight. Doesn't get to fight. And the banner... Oh, it's the banner. He's gone. Did him. Attacked him first. Oh. So banner removed. And now the Hellblaster. Twos to hit. Rerolling ones. Still missed. Three plus to finish his Hellblaster off. No, Hellblaster survives. And that's combat's resolved there. For the Eldar, James can fight back now with the Hellblaster. We've got three attacks. Uh, minus one to hit rolls, just one hit. For Shimmer Plume. Uh, and then Force to Wind. Nope. And then now he's going to attack with Kronos. Fives. Fives to hit, minus one. Two hits. Strength times two. Oh. Two's to wound. Uh, one one comes through. AP minus three. Uh, five up, or oh, four up in one save. Passed on a six. The Ultark survives. And that'll mark the end of the turn. And we'll go on to turn six now for the Ultramarines. Right, so movement done. Uh, James continued to press in. It looks like the Chaplain's taken over in command now. And he's going to try and take out the Ultark with the. Uh, predator. Okay, shooting phase for the Ultrains next on turn six. 
Uh, so four shots coming through here, this is against the Altark, needing fives for hits because of Shimmer Plume and Latok. Wounded. And comes through. AP minus. One. Uh, we'll take a four plus in one save. Bye. What do you mean goodbye? How many wounds you got? I'll have to check. How much damage is it? Three. Oh. Uh, I think he's got six wounds for an Altark. Yeah, we'll have to check here. Yeah, I think he's got six wounds. Okay, uh, yeah, still alive. Five wounds taken, one wound left. He's a six wound model. So two laser cannon shots, then fives. Two twos is a miss. Okay, still tuck. I survived that attack. There's Tellian still to fire. Still. Grenade, actually. Uh, pulled out of combat. Doesn't matter. Minus Ultramarines. Go for it. So minus one plus minus one, so fives. Minus one plus minus one. Even yeah, minus. makes sense. Yep. <laughs> Here it comes. Fives is a miss because of the Shimmer Plume again. It's his golden dazzling hair distracting the Ultramarines from firing at him. Uh, so we've got a Hellblast that's pulled out of combat. Supercharging into Eldrad. Ouch. Yep. Here it comes. Um, mm, you one hit. One hit. Two's to wound. Wounded. Uh, three plus Invon three save. Plus. Passed on a four. Super Chapter's firing into the Altark here. Supercharging. Don't want to get a one. It's order two. Okay, it's missed the target. Talion. Talion is going to try and pick off the last wound against the Altark here, the Skyrunner. And minus two. Missed with Talion. Again, the dazzling flowing blonde hair. Uh, James not able to hit. So, shooting phase is finished here. We're going to charges and overwatch next. All right, uh, charges have taken place. The chaplain's gone in against the Altark. Heroic intervention from Eldred. James's attacks. Here they come. Hit. Yes, this is against the Altark here. Threes to wound. Three wounds come through. Minus one. Okay, so we'll take four up in one to save. Four damage. Four damage. That means that Altark is still alive. He's a five wound model. So the Altark can fight here. I don't think he's going to do too much damage. Looking for twos to hit. He's got a power sword. Fives to wound. Nothing. Uh, Eldrad with his attacks. Two hits. Uh, one wound comes through. Uh, James will take a 4 plus invon save. Which he fouls, and it's d3 damage, which is just the one wound caused on the chaplain. And I think that marks the end of turn 6 five here for the Ultramarines. Or oh, Litton is here, 5 plus to ignore, which he does ignore. Solid. So, turn finished. It's James's turn to roll to see if the game continues. On a 4 plus, we will have turn yep. 7 coming up now for the Eldar. Okay, uh, movement done here. Eldar just swirling around, trying to figure out how to deal with the last of these characters here. Uh, pulled out of combat with these just to let the at point blank range uh, try and deal with the chaplain with the Dark Reapers. That's movement done. We're going to shooting phase or psychic phase next for the Eldar here on turn seven. All right, psychic phase complete again. Smites the killer. It's taken the chaplain down. And that's I think perhaps extinguished the last chance that James has had in the game. We're going to shooting phase here uh, next for the Eldar. Okay, so end the psychic phase here. We're not going to press on. Uh, James has lost the last model with the intel points, and so uh, we'll conclude the game just there. We'll get a final score, but it looks like Eldar have achieved victory here just about right at the very last. Okay, so yeah, final score, 18 points to the Eldar, uh, 15 points for uh, intel points, keeping characters alive. First strike was picked up, Slay the Warlord, and Linebreaker as well, with the Scorpions stealthily hiding away in the corner. And then for James, uh, 12 points picked up, for intel points and characters line breaker across here it was 11 points actually uh, line breaker across here and first strike as well so 18 13 the final score a noble effort from the ultramarines the game could have gone either way it was tight throughout the battle uh, but just about at the end the Elder have managed to cling on to the objective and secure victory here but so uh, the ultramarines certainly gave them a run for their money but the Eldar rack up another victory and one step closer to ultimate glory on the channel. Great game, great to see the Ultrarines back and looking strong. Thanks for watching and tune in next time. Right, so just discussing units of the game. Uh, James is going to go for the Predators. Solid firepower from them. They brought down the Knight here. Uh, and decent firepower throughout the game. Difficult for the Eldar to deal, deal with. Uh, then for the Eldar, uh, Eldrad performed well. Nice, solid 
Uh, Psyker, Smite at the end, helping to clear away the last of the Ultramarine resistance. Uh, but James is pointing to this one here. It's the Autark on the jet bike, uh, an absolute torment to the Ultramarines. He darted around the table. Ignoring Overwatch. Dies. Yeah, ignoring Overwatch is useful. Hard to hit him. And the Laser Lance, pretty deadly uh, with shooting and in close combat as well. So we'll give it to the Autark on the jet bike. That's units of the game for both sides. 